Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. And, uh, man, what is. Man, who hauls it in? That's the number one thing I don't deal with livestock, hogs, or animals, period. Because of that right there. I, I don't, I'm not a livestock man, or pig man, or dog man, cat man, any animals. I don't really just fool with them. That's, take up too much of my time. That right there. All right, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's on a rainy day right now. I'm just just sitting in the tractor. Uh, just letting it run, let it get warm. And uh, I'm finna put this monitor in. I gotta just show you all the tools and stuff I got. So I'm finna put this in, put, mount this on. Uh, that way I that way I have it in here. Yeah, we're gonna do a little unboxing. I already know what it is, but you guys, uh, I ain't had a chance to look at it. So what we got here is a John Deere, you can see. And uh, the, what is it? Part number BPF 11018. That's the part number. Right there. So what I have here today is a six thousand receiver. <clears throat> of course, it comes with a owner manual, which is I will be reading, studying up on it. And there she goes. All new, brand new six thousand. So, here is going to come whenever I get, whenever I get ready to get started, they're going to come and then they're going to set this up for me. And I'm missing a monitor for this. I wasn't even thinking, but I need a 350 tracks on that. Don't they come with a 350 tracks or 250 track monitor? Because I got a, a cord down there hanging. I see the the hopper back there got uh, wires all over. So that uh, eventually off the top, I, that just told me right there. She's reading. Yes, yeah, she does read. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this together. And y'all can watch me do it. I probably ain't going to say nothing in the rest of this whole thing. So, so let's go ahead and get at it. Let's get started. Meanwhile, all right, you guys, I'm sitting over here in this mud hole, and I'm finna put this this game back on. Uh, where are my folks at? I don't know what I did with it. Oh, that is over there. Boy, that sucker sure look good right there. I can't wait to put that thing in the field, man. I can't wait, but till then, I got to deal with this right here. And as soon as I get done with this, then we got to start on this so I can get the blades on it of course uh i got so much stuff going on but we're gonna stop talking we're just gonna go ahead and get this going so let me get my stuff together and let's go over here i got the tractor running already that way uh it could be warming up and whatever 
So, all right, let's go ahead and get busy. Ugh. All right, now, let me get, get started. All right, see, I got 8420 number two. We got it going. It's running. So, we're going to put this on this wing. As soon as I get it on there, then I'm going to ball it up. And then, uh, that way I can go ahead and get the two inside. I'm probably going to take that off. It depends on how I feel about wrestling with this. To put it put it on there. But, uh, I know y'all want me to do the review on that thing right there. I will do it. Just, uh, let me get done with this and then I will get it, get it straight. So, let me go ahead and get stuff together and I'll get back with you. I need both down. That one. And that one. Oh. Give me a second. mind y'all I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all this this one that right there what I just did right there do not try that at home that's the most dangerous thing I ever did right here it's called cutting corners you know you know I've been doing it for so long but you know still accidents can happen this right here can kill me just by folding it up like that but I just chose to do it like that there we have it we got one blade got one wing now we got two more to go so right now we're just gonna fold it up and even though I gotta tighten it I gotta tighten that boat and I gotta tighten that boat up there just for right now I'm just gonna fold it up so, let me fold it up Now I got that part out of the way. So as you can see, I got new blades and new bands right here. New blades and new bands right here. So let's walk to it. Yes, I need, yes, I do need to grease it. I do need to tighten that boat up there, the end boat and tighten that end boat right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get an air hammer. I should have been on all of them, bought one, but I'm gonna get an air hammer and I'm gonna tighten them gangs up right there with the air compressor. So right now I'm just doing it just a little at a time while it's still wet. So since we already got them two already on there, so now I need to get these two right here. These next, it's eight here and it's eight there. And as soon as I get that out the way, then we'll be ready to start on this, on this chopper right here. That way I can have that done. So, uh, 
let me pick these tools up and let me give y'all a little bit of review on this right here on this planner right here so give me a second you guys and since we already got that out the way and tomorrow i will get back on the displays again by taking one off and then taking that out and putting that so i'm probably gonna take the inside disc blades off and then go ahead and put it together just one at a time so i'm gonna do eight more tomorrow put a new blades on and then i'm gonna put it back on so we're gonna do it deal with that now that's right here this is a 2013 uh 1790. um i got this this planter here out of illinois and uh i can't really just tell you too much about it and uh other than this is paid for i have no notes on there let's get that clear so i don't know too much about it other than i am reading a lot of views on it so let me turn the camera around I'm, well actually i ain't gotta turn it around so the history on this, what I got is that uh, when I talked to the guy, the guy said uh, he bought it brand new and he always takes care of it. It's shed kept. And uh, so what he said was very interesting and very ironic. Um, he said when he gets done farming with it, when he gets done, planting he'll clean it up real nice clean it up and then he takes it to john deere every year every time he get done cleaning with it he'll take it to john deere and have it serviced so that's pretty much why now the settings i'm looking at right here is i don't know what it looks like he's been planting corn with this because i can tell about the setting and I can tell it's been well taken care of because all these right here are brand new. Uh, and as you can see, I got brand new chains on every last one of them. You got a brand new chain here, and then you got a brand new chain here. And I see a, some spark has been replaced. And as you can see, some of the a lot of the gauge wheel, press wheel, and everything else are new. So I really just can't wait to run this type of planner. Brand new chains here, brand new chains there. Brand new chain over here. So I really don't know too much. Like I said, I really don't know too much about it other than now the question, is it Green Star? I don't know. Seed Star, what I meant. I don't know. So you got a brand new chain up in there, up in there, and brand new chain down through there and there. So as far as the, the settings, um, I can tell you what settings he's on right now or what whoever does. This is a one on a planner, by the way, this is a one on a planner and now it became two owners. So I'm the second owner of this planner. So as you can see the settings, what it's on. So I'm going to tell you what settings it's on. So pay attention to this. If y'all have a 1790, let me know what settings is this putting out or how much is putting down or or whatever the case may be or what he was planting or the farmer was planting before I got a hold to it. So as I'm seeing right now, I'm going to turn the camera around and let y'all look at it. We'll look at it together. So I'm going to keep it right here and let y'all look at that. Okay, to me, he got right there. 
if I can hold the camera right. Right here is one, two, three, four, five. He's on the five sprocket. And back here is one, two, three, four, five. So I will go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So now I look up here. So the front shaft is what it's so the front shaft what it's saying, which is right here. It's on 16, 16 right up there. You see it, it's on 16. So front is on 16 and the back, which is the rear, is on 28. I'm sorry I can't hold this camera right. So that's the setting what it's on. It's on 16 in the front and 28 in the back. So 16 in the front, 28 on the back. So that's, that's where it's at. So you got 16, and then you got 28. So that's that's where that's that's where that's at. So that's why that's why I need a lot of you guys to inform me like what's what is what, how to operate this. Y'all like that sprayer? Man, I can't believe I still to this day can't believe I bought a sprayer. Oh man. I always, I always dreamed of having my own sprayer, my own sprayer. And man, you know, just to be honest with you, I actually cried. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't too ashamed to tell y'all that. I actually shed a tear just because I got that and this and that. The other tractor over there, and uh, the combine, which is not here. Well, when I'm going to get it next week, so. But yeah, I actually shed a tear on that man because, you know, I kind of wish my father was here to see this, and it's, it's, you know, I don't know, man. It's just I really wish he was here to see this, but I know up above that he's very proud of me, and my brother of what we accomplished so far, and. I know y'all seeing corn on the ground. That didn't come from that platter. No, that came from the, the big truck. If y'all gonna point me out. Okay. There's another tractor over there on the other side. It's the 8420 as well. I didn't think some of y'all was gonna point that out. But uh that belonged to another farmer. My uncle one uh my uncle done sold the backpack. And uh, I go out there and we'll walk out and we'll vlog it too. He done soap. What now? I ain't thinking about that. What now? I'm going to go out there and vlog it. Uh, where was I? We we talking about the planet. We ain't talking about no other tractor. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of what, what, what I got right now. I mean, that's, I'm very thankful. I thank the Lord. Thank God for all he's done for me. You know, it's, you know, it's hard, you know, I'm still driving trucks. I mean, just that, that right there alone is what, it was buying all this. And you just have to hustle, keep working hard, hustle. Never say never, you put your mind to it, you can accomplish it, you can get it. Doesn't matter the acres. Only reason why me and my brother going this big is because we ain't never had anything this big before. And plus, we work a lot, we work hard, and we know we can take care of something like this. We know we can get it, even though it's going to take us a while. We, Me and Damien, we dreamed of having stuff like that, that, and that, and the other one, and that combined. But see, all that's done through me. But I can't just say it's done through me. I add my brother to it and just say, we did it together as brothers. And, you know... I know a lot of people say you only farm 500 acres and you got all these big equipment. No, it's not about that. I mean, I can be farm 200 acres and not have all this. And it's just how the way I do things. And the the real reason why I get stuff like this is because I want to get in the field 
quick as I can and get out. I'm trying to farm 500 acres within three days, four days, if that. I'm not trying to be out here on, on the farm for a whole week and I'm sitting knocking and beating and all like that. Now, that's the reason why this old stuff is getting out of here. Uh, I'm not just, you know, fussing at everybody. I'm just, you know, that's just where I'm at. A lot of farmers out here, they do their own thing. They totally different from what they do. But me, I do my own thing. I do uh, what I want to do. So that's how all of this came about. So as of right now, we're going to stop what we're doing right now. Um, until then, Deer's going to come out here, and they're going to show me how to operate this thing. And I see that the 6,000 does not fit this thing. Well, it fits, but the plug-in is totally different. So I'm not going to just even stress on that. Uh, I'm just going to have to get a whole nother wire harness. So I'm just <laughs> oh, since we're here, this right here, y'all see it? All right, got the water wagon fixed. I haven't went and got the pump yet, but I will probably tomorrow because I got to go to John Deere anyway. So this is what I got right here. Now y'all see it. Remember I said it was yellow? Now it's white. So that's Rust-Oleum paint. So I know I didn't finish the plumbing right. It's not right. So see how I got it, got it routed. So I know I ain't do the plumbing right, but I just I just stuck something there just to be doing something. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, we got 8420 number one, and we got the 8420 number two, followed by we got the combine and we got the sprayer back there. But I'm looking at these 84s like, yeah, it's gonna be all for one, one for all. 384.20. We gonna call them now the three amigos. We finna do it. So y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. If you have any questions, put it down in the description down below. Y'all, y'all know the deal. Y'all know the drill. And I'm gonna edit this video and I'm finna get out of here. Cause I got to run that thing in the morning. So I don't want to be late. So that's my bread and butter. So I'm finna get off this vlog and I'm finna get in the bed. So peace. I'm out of here. Holla, ciao. Mwah!